Rob, thank you for joining us. Trip to Reading awaits. What's the thoughts heading into that one? No, it's good. It's good to have a, a week's training with the lads and obviously decompress from last week. And um, no, looking forward to the game. It's uh, it's a brilliant challenge. It's going to be um, it's sort of one of the games you look forward to because going and stepping into League One after last year playing sort of the likes of your Reddins, etc. Uh, it's a great opportunity for us to go and impress and obviously carry on the work from Saturday, which I thought you know, up until the sending off and even after, to be honest, we was uh, we was really good. And um, I think we just got to take heart in the fact that. Um, when we sort of the way we started the game was excellent, the way we controlled the game, um, and obviously there's things we need to improve on. But um, that's going to be the case no matter what team you are, what uh, position you're in. So uh, looking forward to the game, really looking forward to seeing the lads, uh, see a reaction, and um, and go from there. Yeah, we had the sort of midweek period off, which must have been nice for yourself. How how did you find that? Yeah, it was nice. Obviously coming in, having the free games, and not really being able to sort of really get into some work with the players and get to know them. Obviously for myself and obviously the staff is sort of looking at things we can improve on, things we can get better at. Because like I said to the players, it's always you know, the buck stops with with myself first and foremost, and we always try and be open and honest with them about things we did well, things we got wrong, and we just want to give the players the we want to help the players as best we can and give them the best opportunity to perform on the pitch. Um, but no, um, been a good week. Got loads of detail in. Obviously uh, been able to sort of give a couple of players rest in terms of not having to too many games obviously not having the extra game in the week so hopefully the squad can be as fresh as possible ready for uh, ready for Saturday yeah what do you think we can make of red and obviously one of the ones that you know <laughs> big club isn't it you know been a big club for a long time so that, that's obviously going to bring its own challenges uh, what have you made of them this week while watching them I've been really impressed to be honest with you. they play good football similar to ourselves you know they like to they like to play out from the back they like to have control of the ball uh, they've got some really good key players good attacking threats uh, in wide areas and through the middle um, so you know we're going to have to be defensively spot on um, but on the flip side we'll, uh, we'll pay red in the respect which they uh, definitely deserve because they're a very good team. We also want to concentrate on on us and developing us as a as a team and developing our style of play and ultimately um, keeping on the sort of momentum that we've seen the last couple of games in terms of affecting the goal and scoring goals. You know, it's been brilliant to see us scoring goals and creating opportunities and and that's what I want to see. I want to see the players backing themselves, whether at Reading away, Bolton away, all the big clubs, or whether at home especially. I want to see us on the front foot trying to score uh, and then obviously just tidying up on all the little things we need to tidy tidy up on. Um, obviously. Going up to this level, teams are they're a bit more ruthless, and um, you know the attacking players are better, etc. As you'd expect, but you know we're uh, we're learning every week, we're getting better and, and working our shape, and uh, hopefully, yeah, it's a it's a game we can look forward to. We can give a good account of ourselves. Yeah, you've touched it slightly already, but how's the sort of squad come through the first few games? Because we're obviously forced into a couple of changes on Saturday, weren't we? So in terms of sort of full fitness and availability, how are we looking? Yeah, we're doing okay. A um, few lads had knocks on Saturday, so obviously we had to bring a few off. Uh, Rashid Das, um, Harry Forster as well, because he's obviously easing his way back in. Um, so it's probably disrupted things a little bit. Um, and yeah, but the um, but they seem to be doing okay. We're just having to monitor them and see what they'll be like for Saturday. Obviously, we haven't got Flinty or Jay because of suspension. So yeah, we'll probably leave it up to the last minute to see um, minutes, because obviously with the free games next week as well, we've got to put sort of everything into perspective as you do it comes thick and fast but um, no in terms of that the squad uh, the squad's getting fuller obviously Benjamin's come back and he's able to train with us which is good uh, he obviously got back from an interesting trip away um, uh, but he got in training today which is good and obviously we need to build him up because he hasn't played since the summer um, but no it's good it's good to have additions and then um, it's good for us to be able to get the group together and working for a week and um, yeah and preparation for what is going to be another tough week brilliant um, Rob, with uh, Jay and uh, Josh suspended, obviously that gives someone else a chance to impress. Um, uh, have you decided who's that or is that still going to be Friday? Do you pick your team? Yeah, always Friday because obviously yeah. lads need the week to impress in training. Um, I think it's always fair players get the opportunity to press and make their claim. Uh, and also um, what I want to get is a squad mentality that no matter who's picked, no matter you know what game or what team, that everyone knows their roles and responsibilities and we're working hard on that in training so that you know, sometimes players play in different positions that happens because of injuries because of suspensions or whatever it may be um, so yeah no the uh, we'll obviously have to adapt without sort of Flinty and Jay who've been terrific for us but it will hopefully show the depth of the squad and it's a good uh, challenge for whoever does get the nod to step up and, and put performance in and uh, you mentioned Benjamin there um, the fans haven't seen him yet will he be included in the squad or is it a bit too early yet or uh, it's a bit too early to tell it might yeah. be uh, you know we speak with Rick who's fantastic here who's the head of our performance he uh, obviously there's a lot to 
to monitor and make sure because of the football and obviously the uh, unique circumstances he's had the last couple of weeks or so. But no, he trained today, which was good. Get to see him on the grass, and um, obviously, you know, you're not a Nigerian international without having um, talent and ability. Uh, but we need to make sure we do the right thing by Benjamin. You know, he's had a, a testing week or so, and also he's had a, an indifferent few weeks in terms of since he's come in with the testings and, and getting it across the line. So look, yeah, we, we want to make sure we do the right thing by him, and he's when he goes in, he's ready and. Uh, yeah, and we're not going to put him at any risk. Um, but he seems like a really good professional. I know he's a good athlete, and you know, he's uh, he's shown, like I said before, if you're playing for Nigeria, then like we've seen from the games and we've watched him, you know, he's got ability, and hopefully he'll be able to help us. Uh, we'll just make sure we get it right when we do include him. Yeah, and you mentioned Reading, one of the bigger clubs in League One, nice big stadium. Does that add extra motivation to the players? Do you think playing in front of that crowd? Give them a bit extra. I hope so, yeah, because yeah. I think the players have worked hard and they deserve to go and play at places like that. You know, we love playing at home, and obviously, I think on Saturday, you know, the atmosphere was fantastic. Obviously, we're on top, and you know, we have a different sort of. Uh, uh, we have a different environment on, at home games because you know the way we play on the front foot, attacking the attacking uh, the goals all the time, and then away from home, it's uh, against bigger clubs. I hope the players just embrace it, and enjoy it, and go and show what you know show what has been such a successful period for the club, and uh, go and do the club proud by implementing everything we want. You know, in terms of dominating the ball, being aggressive, trying to win the ball back, uh, and backing ourselves in every area. And I think that's what you know for me, that's what I want to see, and I hope the fans do too. They want to see the team go to places like. Reading or wherever it may be and, and go and show what this club's all about. Yeah, and you mentioned um, after the game on Saturday about set pieces, there's obviously some weaknesses there and that. Have you been working extra hard on those this week? Yeah, no, look, it's uh, it's one of them ones on reflection. It's it's um, it's frustrating when you can see, you know, go down to 10 men and we can see <coughs> from set pieces and obviously give a penalty away. Um, but it's something we need to improve on. There's loads of things we need to improve on, you know, collectively. You know, like I always said, starting from myself, I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to shy away from that, you know. I, I need to make sure that we set the team up in the best way, set pieces, uh, whatever the structure may be, both for and against. We want to score more goals, we want to keep them out at both ends. Um, but yeah, it's something that obviously stepping up the level as well, the quality of delivery and the players inside the box is something we need to adapt to. And again, it's another challenge. I think we have to look at these as challenges where we can get better. And I think the thing that I've seen since I've been in is that players have got better each time and they're taking on the challenges. And I feel that we're, um, you know, we're in a good place and we just need to keep the momentum and keep the positive mentality in terms of attacking the league. You know, still 35 games left there's a lot of points over 100 odd points to play for mm. so um, we need to keep that consistency and calmness not get too high not get too low and, and keep building every week yeah and um, unfortunately I have to look on social media every week just to seeing reactions and that from fans and that. a lot of big talking point was the substitutions on Saturday the timings of them etc is that something you look back on reflect on and think oh maybe I couldn't have done that or yeah definitely yeah. you have to look at everything you can't just say at the time obviously we knew Junior was, was tiring mm. uh, Das uh uh, Rushy had injuries uh, and then also we knew being down to 10 men that they were going to put the ball in the box and it was going to be a lot more direct and we decided to put a bit more physicality on obviously the timing of Junior scoring you know, we could have probably in hindsight kept Junior on longer with that little bit of rush for an extra five minutes but we also want to protect the players and um, you know, speaking to the staff Junior is at a level where we played a lot of games in the week and we needed to make sure we protected him as well because he's such an important player for us um, so maybe yeah in hindsight maybe we should have given him a couple of extra minutes or time to get through um, but again you know, I'm not going to stand here and say that I've got all the answers or I won't get it wrong all I'll try and do is be honest hold my hands up look at where we can improve and go again um, I'm sort of stay away from social media so um, <laughs> yeah I think that's a sensible thing to do but um, Sorry, no but also after the game because I think probably the frustration for everyone especially the players and the fans is that you know I felt that we were so close so in control and it felt like we turned a corner and then you know the sending off changes the game and substitutions whatever it may, all the all the things that add up so what we've got to do is stay consistent that you know what we did up until that moment was fantastic and even after, you know, mm. um, the way the players fought and the energy they put in being down to 10 men, um, for me, only gives me confidence that we're going to be absolutely fine.